Another five minutes mystery. Sailing, Hendricks. Perhaps we'd better let it go for another day. But I just bought the boat, Martin. I want you to be the first one to sail with me. What do you know about sailing, anyway? I bought the boat for just one sail. After that, it can rot on the beach. Well, that's quite an expensive swim, Hendricks. Not very, Martin. I rather count it on a day like this. It all fits very neatly into my plan. What in the devil are you talking about? I'm afraid you'll think me quite mad, Martin. But it's rather important that I kill you. Hendricks, stop this absurd talk. I'm going back to the city immediately. You might as well know that I've robbed you of every penny you have. I can't afford to have you tell that information to the police. As you would, eventually. Good heavens, man. Do you know what you're doing? Very clear, Martin. Come here. Let go of me. Thanks for everything, Martin. The partnership is dissolved. We found the body all right, Mr. Hendricks. Tide washed it in on the beach about four miles from here. From the looks of it, the body must have been in the water about five hours. Yes, that's just about the time it happened, Inspector. How come you went out on such a rough day? Well, uh, Martin knew that I bought a new boat, and he insisted upon being the first to sail in it. I had some doubts about taking the boat out with such a strong sea running, but Martin knew I could handle the boat, so we decided to take a chance. A man would have to be a pretty good sailor to go out in that stuff. I've uh, won several sailing competitions, Inspector. What happened after you got the boat out, Mr. Hendricks? The boat handled very well for the first 20 minutes. Martin was taking care of the rudder while I was up in the front of the boat. The force of the wind was leaning us over to the right, so I went over to the left side of the boat to try to balance it. Did you get it on an even keel? Yes, I straightened it out all right. Things seemed to be going well when all of a sudden I heard a yell from Martin. He let go of the small sail, and it was swinging wild. I ran to the back of the boat to try and get it. But before I could reach back there, the sail swung around hard and smacked Martin on the head. It practically lifted him off his feet, and the next thing I knew, he was in the water. Couldn't you save him? No, he must have been knocked unconscious by the sail as his head was down in the water. I was going to jump in, but the boat was carried away too quickly, and I lost sight of him. I tried to turn around and find him, but I was too late. It must have been a tragic moment for you. Yes, Inspector. Martin was my best friend. You, Mr. Hendricks, were his worst enemy. I'm arresting you for murder. <laughs> What flaw did the inspector find in Hendrick's story? In just a moment, we'll know. And now, back to our story. You're crazy, inspector. It was an accident. Murder is never accidental, Mr. Hendricks. For a man who claims to be such an expert sailor, you show an amazing reluctance to use nautical terms when describing your boat. Most sailors, including amateurs, use the words starboard, port, aft, astern, bow. Only a land lover uses the words right, left, back, and front when describing a ship. But it's not a law. Oh, no, Mr. Hendricks, you're not one to be speaking of laws. You've broken the most important one. There's only one universal word I can use. Murder. 